Hey guys, this is your host Mandeep and uh, we'll do another tutorial today. And what I wanted to cover today was uh, how to create a scan on the Thinkorswim platform using your favorite candlestick pattern. Right. So I was going through my Twitter feed this morning and I stumbled across this uh, you know, picture that somebody had posted and the credit obviously goes to this gentleman named Thomas and uh, I wouldn't bother pronouncing his last name wouldn't butcher it but he's uh, given some information and in what are some of the best you know candlestick patterns that um, have been back tested and you know what is the percentage they're successful so this particular one you know the three line strike bearish is 84 percent bullish so in this case as you see there's uh, you know three lower lows so and then on the fourth uh, candlestick pattern you get a reversal Right. So this concept is also called the single time framing concept where this low is lower than the previous bar's low. This low is also lower than the previous bar low. And in this case, it's lower than the previous bar, but it ends up closing higher than the high of the previous bar. So when you get this kind of a pattern, uh, it usually means you know a stock is reversed. Now, if you go back and look at uh, December the 26th, when the market actually uh, reversed, you will see a lot of the brand names and big stocks, you know, have this kind of a pattern. And then the reverse is going to be true when you the market has stopped and starts to reverse down, right? So you have three higher highs, right? Or it could be more, not necessarily just three, but it could be more. And then you have a reversal where it opens higher and then it closes, uh, you know, below the low of the previous bar, right? Now let's take a look at Thinkorswim and figure out how we can replicate this scan and figure out which are all the stocks that meet this criteria. So clearly this is not very useful just by looking at it and you know out of the seven or the eight eight thousand stocks that we have, how can we figure out which of them actually meet this criteria? So without further ado, let's just dive into it. So let's so so we are on the main. Um, you know, Thinkorswim platform, and uh, we are under the chart section. And what we'll do is we we click on the patterns here, and then click on select patterns here. Now click on candlestick, and you'll see a number of the standard uh, candlestick uh, criteria that have actually been listed here. But what we are doing in this case, we're going to create something from from scratch. Basically, the three li lower lows and then the one higher high, and, and uh, automatically generate the code and create a scan for it. So in order to do that, you would click on the create button, click on the plus button, and uh, so you have three down candles. So we'll add three down candles first. It's the second one, and now the third one, and the fourth candle is an up candle, right? But now, if you recall, the low of this candle is lower than this. So in order to do that, we can simply, we can take this and connect it here and say, this is uh, less than uh, the low of the previous bar. Again, we'll take the low here, connect here, and this is also less than uh, the low of the previous bar. In this case, the low is still less than the previous bar, but the close is going to be higher. So we're going to click on the close, connect to the higher, and say it's greater than, right? So you've now basically replicated. So this low is lower than the low of the previous bar. This is lower than the previous bar. This is also lower than the previous bar, but now this is closer, higher than the high of the previous bar. Right? So we can take a quick look at the code that automatically got generated now. So what we care about this is this part of the code right here. We don't care about the plot because we're not really plotting anything. So what we'll do is we'll just create a copy of this code and we can hit cancel and get out of this and we can go back into the scan. So what I have on the scan is a uh, a blank scan to start with and we'll do an add study filter here and click on the edit button and then we'll go into the thinkorswim editor and we'll paste this code here All right once this code is pasted click ok and hit the scan button and uh, so it comes up with a set of stocks uh, and what we can do is uh, we will um, you know save this scan save the scan query Let's just call this xxx3 down up and we save it now we'll go into the watch list and uh, we'll look for this scan query here and uh, this is under it should be under my personal and 
this is the three down up right and we look at the charts now so this these are the ones that met that criteria so if you go back now this was actually on the daily chart not at the 15 minute so we'll uh, click on the daily chart and now we'll take a look at each of these stocks now so you can see here we had this low is lower than this low this low is lower than the previous bar low and this low is also lower than the previous bar low and the close is now above this right and all of these stocks will actually have the same criteria. One of the things we'll do is we'll add a study that I have. It's uh, it's called the MSB test, which I've also posted on my blog. I'll show you a link for that. And that will actually color code this and show us uh, uh, the, the ones in white. You know? So these are actually reversed now. So again, we'll take a look at uh, a couple other examples here as well. So you can see you have three lower lows and one high high, right? So this gives you um, a set of stocks, right, that have actually reversed. And you can, act, you can now create a scan for the ones that have three higher highs and, and a lower low. So you can actually uh, give it a shot, uh, you know, by yourself and uh, let me know if you have any issues creating it. Otherwise, this is a very simple and uh, an efficient way of creating scan without writing a single line of code. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful weekend.